place. You can see all the punches right here are organized by size. Uh, they've got their own little spot. And then up here we have a hammer. So this hammer, first of all, I'm going to say is significantly heavier than you think it is. It's got a good heft up here. Um, but what's dope about it is it's got a couple different ends. So we've got a steel tip, we've got a brass tip, and then you can actually just screw these off. And then we have a rubber tip and a nylon tip as well. So depending on what you're doing, it uh, gives you a bunch of different options so you're not breaking things so you're not marring things, not scratching things up, stuff like that. Yeah, I like how it's just super quick and interchangeable. Next up in this kit, we have the tactical tweezers. These are the most tactical looking tweezers I've ever seen in my life. I mean, I'm kind of joking, but I'm kind of not. Look at these things, they're super dope. You could just pluck the crap out of some eyebrows. Uh, <laughs> um, the end here has a nice little metal tip. The rest of it's sort of like this textured kind of rubbery feel. So, you know, it's maybe like a silicone or something, something like you're not gonna drop these, which feels really nice, but the edges are steel. So you're still getting a good bite out of them. And then one thing that I noticed right out of the gate is the two clasps actually fully come together. I don't know if you're familiar with like cheaper tweezers, but a lot of times like they'll only meet in one place which is ridiculous. It defeats the purpose. You can't actually pick anything that is like paper thin up. So the fact that these fully clasped together was the first sign to me that this is a, you know, it's a, it's a high quality tactical tweezer. <laughs> and then we get into the punches here. You can see all the steel punches here. There are a couple of plastic punches as well for times when the steel isn't ideal. Now, if you've been a fan of the channel for a while, you remember those old AR build videos I did and I got the cheapest punch set you could possibly get to build that thing and it was a nightmare. I would not recommend it. Um, so <laughs> I can actually appreciate how high quality these are. Number one, they're steel, like I said, but they're actually, they're treated for durability. You know, like you can feel that they're going to hold their shape. They're not going to like break on you. They're not going to like chip off on you or anything like that. Um, so all the way down to a 16th of an inch, which is this guy. I remember my 16th of an inch in the cheap kit and it was, uh, it was, a, it was certainly not this durable. I'll tell you that much. Um, um, the other thing I really like about these is they have these like little rubber bands around them, which uh, actually just help to keep them in place in this kit. That's a, that's a really small detail, but it's small details like that that really stand out to me. They show that they like, they used this kit a little bit and then, you know, these were probably falling out and they're like, hey, we gotta do something about that. So the fact they went that extra step shows me that they really do care about their product. And they are all marked down here for easy access. They're marked in the case as well as marked on the actual punch themselves. So a really nice, simple, clean setup. And then over here, as I mentioned, it does come with this little bench block as well. You've also got this non-slip silicone mat, which just fits right on this. And then if if you're, you know, on something that it would normally slip around, it's going to keep everything nice and sturdy there for you. But yeah, let's go ahead and just put this thing through its paces really quick. You can get an idea of how this works. Like I said, I can't really show too much on YouTube, so I'll kind of give you an idea of what this thing is used for, uh, and then we'll we'll wrap up from there. Okay, so I've got a 1911 here. It is filled stripped. Here's the frame. But let's say I want to take it a step further, and I really want to get to the nitty gritty. I want to do a full detail strip of this thing. There's going to be a lot of pins that I'm taking out, and I'm not going to go through all those, but I'm going to show you what it looks like when we take one of these out. So you'll notice down here in this very corner is what looks like a pin, but there's a kind of a big divot in it. And that's exactly what these roll pin punches are made for. So these roll pin punches, you'll see on the very end here, they have like this kind of dome that comes outwards as well as a flat surrounding. So the idea of this is that dome will actually fit into that concave portion, hold the punch exactly where it needs to be and allow you to drive this thing straight through. So you're not going sideways, you're not wandering marking up your gun, anything like that. And then this bench block allows me to line that pin up with one of these holes so that I won't lose that thing. So I'm gonna grab my hammer out here. We'll throw this guy right on there. Okay, and you can see I didn't have any issue holding that in place. When I told you earlier that I had a really cheap uh, punch set last time, I did not have any roll pins and that was incredible how much easier that is than trying to keep a flat punch on a pin like that. So now that's completely moved out of the way. You can see this went straight through the hole and there is my pin. So I don't have to worry about losing that. And then now I can 
Yeah. Remove this super easily, get into the full detail strip of this firearm. So as I mentioned, just one use for this thing. You can do tons of stuff. I am certainly going to do a, a trigger replacement on my Glock with this setup. If you are someone who wants to, like I said, get into gunsmithing or at least be a little better equipped to be able to do some things yourselves, definitely pick this up. Now it is roll pins only, so I would recommend getting a flat pin option as well. But uh, yeah, these are gonna get you completely covered, really, really high quality, and it's gonna keep everything good and organized for you. I'm going to do that trigger replacement in another video coming up soon, so you'll see these things coming back then. If you uh, want to check these out for yourselves, there's a link down in the video description below. This kit here is running you $39.99, so 40 bucks on Amazon, I believe. Um, and, and there are, like I said, there are cheaper versions, but I would not recommend it. And it's like, they're not that much cheaper either. This is like, yeah, this is totally affordable in the range of what these things are going to run you. Very high quality. I wish I would have had this kit when I was building that AR. Plus you get tactical tweezers. I mean, come on. And you get the little hammer with the interchangeable heads. It's a good deal, honestly. You get the kit, you get the bench block. Like, yeah, I think it's a good deal.